The Sprint Ray Pro 55S. Let's get into it. Sprint Ray launched with a Kickstarter campaign for their innovative Moonray printer in 2016. The printer designed to take digital light projection technology to the masses. Soon after the successful launch of the Moonray, they decided to completely focus their efforts on the dental industry. Their 3D printing products are clearly born from the dental community. They collaborated with designers, world-class dental professionals, and some of the best engineers to create a product that is clearly designed for the dental professional with the ease of use for their team members to be able to implement. We're really excited to bring you our review of the Sprint Ray Pro 55S. We've been excited to test this printer and have been putting it through the paces in our practice. We've done a lot of cases from full mouth reconstructions, all on X, to veneers and bite guards. In this review, we will rank the key areas that we feel are important for you to consider when purchasing a printer. The rankings are on a scale of one to five, with five being the best and one being the worst. Stay tuned to the end of the review to check out a couple clinical cases that we've done with this printer. The Pro Wash Dry is a fully automated two-stage wash and dry system built to deliver speed, cleanliness, while still being easy to use. The Pro Wash Dry uses a mechanical jetting to rapidly deliver IPA to the printed parts. This unique method provides excellent agitation, reducing wash duration, making it one of the fastest wash units available. The built-in hydrometer alerts the user when there's a need to replace the alcohol, and the touch-free draining makes this process a breeze. The ProCure 2 is fast. It's fast enough to enable true single visit chair side workflows. Powered by its custom light unit, it delivers heat instantaneously with no warm up required. Leveraging its custom wishbone curing engine, the ProCure 2 completely post cures 3D printed crowns and guards in just a few minutes, using both light and heat for optimal mechanical properties. 385 nanometers of light is emitted from dual carriage LED bulbs, ensuring 360 degrees of cure, minimizing the need to flip prints. Unparalleled capacity means 20 full arches can fit inside this unit. It's clear that this printer was built from the ground up to be a dental printer. The Sprint Ray Pro 55S makes it really easy to 3D print. Intelligent onboard sensors, a powerful computing system and material tracking means that you could plug anybody into the workflow at any given time and they could successfully 3D print. It's powered by a 405 nanometer industrial grade projector that ensures equal light uniformity across the entire build plate. And really what this means is more successful prints and you have better crispness to your prints. Rayware Cloud uses machine learning and optimization to reduce the number of clicks to print. It allows you to train your team in minutes with automatic orientation, supporting, and build platform layout. Yeah, we really love the new optimized Easy Peel supports that you could get from that software that enables you to peel the supports really quickly off of the print without damaging the actual product. Yeah, and the cloud setup is pretty neat because we can send pr prints from any computer in the office. Yep, and you don't need special software or hardware to be able to do that. We've been really impressed with this printer and we've been getting really good results, but there's a few shortcomings that we really have to mention. Number one, if we look at the Rayware Cloud, there tends to be some times where it could be a little bit buggy and laggy, and oftentimes it will automatically nest a print in the wrong orientation, which would make that print basically a fail. In addition to that, if we look at the curing unit, it's just a single wavelength of light at 385 nanometers. We would really love to see a more broad spectrum bulb being implemented in that situation for more optimal curing. This is what 3D printing is all about. It's a breath of fresh air every time we have to print on this. We simply have not found an easier printer to use than the Sprint Ray Pro 55S. We're gonna have to rank this a five out of five. Yeah, definitely easiest to use on the market. This is a printer that we'd be proud to display in a dental office. It was clearly designed to have a manageable footprint that could be set up in an operatory or in an in-office lab. Yeah, it's definitely one of the better looking, more well-designed printers that we've ever come across. We're gonna have to rank it a four out of five on footprint. The Sprint Ray Pro 55S has completely flipped the switch on what we consider to be a fast printer. 
We're able to get 10 units in under 10 minutes out of this printer with its revolutionary new small form factor build plate with internal heating. And when you combine that synergistically with the fast Procure 2, we're talking about restorations out in under 15 minutes, completely processed, ready to go. Yeah, this is something that the 3D printing market chair side has just not seen yet. We're gonna have to give it a five out of five on speed. It's clear that they take quality seriously. We were blown away with our die and model prints and although we had some minor issues printing ultra thin veneers initially, Sprint Ray support worked with us to develop veneer mode in the slicer and now we're able to print ultra thin veneers very predictably on this printer. Yeah, overall we've been really impressed with the quality of prints that we've been getting out of this printer. It has been phenomenally accurate both for models and patient care cases such as inlays and onlays. This torture cube is the ultimate test. We have 300 micron lattice structure held up by ultra tiny supports and it executed beautifully on this test. Next up, we have a crown, which is a really popular thing that most people would print in their office. And the anatomy and detail on this is very nice with their new ceramic crown material printed on the new fast build plate. Yep. The next pitch bark that we always print is this tie base crown. And so this is a true abutment tie base that has an anti-rotation notch. Uh, on it, printed perfectly um, out of this printer, you know, amazing fit. The next uh, benchmark that we print is this ultra thin veneer. So this is about 200 microns thick, printed perfectly, no burnout at the margin, amazing detail. The final benchmark that we print is this mock-up. So this is 10 units of a smile try-in, also between 200 to 300 microns thick, printed amazing out of this printer with the Sprint Ray ceramic crown. Um, overall, for print quality, we rank this printer 4.5 out of five. Yep. It's all about the resins. And some people have even referred to me as the resin chaser. Sprint Ray has really spent a lot of research and development recently on the next generation of resins from Onyx to Onyx Tough and Nightguard Soft. They've really stepped up the quality of the resins that they're producing and I'm very excited about what the future holds for Sprint Ray in their resin development pipeline. So the Sprint Ray system is a semi-closed system and what that means is the majority of resins that are validated on the Pro 55S are Sprint Ray specific resins. They have a variety of resins that cover pretty much any indication that any busy dental office would need to print with on a day-to-day -day basis. And there are some third-party validated resins on the Pro 55S. Overall, we've been really impressed with the uh, portfolio of resins that are available to be printed on the Pro 55S, and we're gonna have to give it a four and a half out of five on the resins. Absolutely. You know, you could have a really amazing printer, but if it doesn't execute clinically, it's not gonna be a value for your practice. So we're gonna take you through some of our favorite cases that we've done with this printer over the past few weeks. And the first one is definitely something that I think everybody's gonna be able to relate to. I love printing for this indication for partial coverage restorations. One, because it allows us to be a lot more conservative, but two, it doesn't limit the geometry of our prep styles like milling does. So this patient came in with the ceramic only, um, had to have endo through it so we cut that off re-prepped it um, you can see the prep here doing a real-time design in exocad took about three minutes to design this get the occlusion dialed in perfectly sent it over to the printer we printed this in sprint ray ceramic crown uh, printed in about nine minutes on the new uh, fast build plate uh, bonded it in um, and we know this is going to bond super reliably the contacts were perfect Inclusion was perfect, patient was super happy. We did this all in an hour and 10 minute appointment. Yep, I remember this case. It was it was one of our first ceramic crown cases. Yep. And you know, it's all about the digital design and getting all the settings dialed in so these just drop right in. We find that about 140 micron cement gap is perfect for these types of cases in your design software yep. to really make that fit just slide right in. We bond these in using um, a, a sandblasting micro braiding and we use adhesive on the intaglio surface and air thin that. Uh, we make sure everything's isolated, clean and dry, and these are just a huge upgrade from a yeah. direct resin for sure. Yeah, absolutely. We know it's going to wear better in the aesthetics. It just blends right in. Yeah, we love these types of restorations. Case two is definitely one of my favorite things to do clinically with any 3D printer, and that is mock-ups. I love being able to digitally craft the patient's smile and have them in the very same appointment they come in for the consult 
have a 3D printed mock-up either bonded or placed in their mouth so that they could see in real time exactly what their new smile could look like. This patient presented and she wanted a no prep veneer case or at least to see what it would look like. We used Onyx Tough, which is one of my favorite materials in the Hollywood bleach. It's a beautiful material. And we were able to show the patient in a short two hour appointment what they would be able to look like if she got no prep veneers. Yep. Not only has this helped our case acceptance, but it also cuts down on any type of refinements you need to do in the temporary stage. Absolutely. All right, this next case is an Onyx case that uh, we did guided implant placements um, with the all on T plus system with true abutment. Um, same day, loaded those abutments, scanned, we printed a prototype straight to those uh, custom multi units out of Onyx Tough Hollywood Bleach, stained it with Annex gum, you know, just really an amazing result. I just love the tissue characterization and contours we can get with that system. I love doing these kind of tissue uh, contour cases because this, the material makes you look like a hero. Yes. Um, because it's basically a composite that is pink, pink and, and when you place this on there in a very simple way, um, you're able to achieve ultra lifelike aesthetics. I mean, I love teaching this in our in our um, Restoring All in X course. Yeah, and you know, what I love about prototyping like this where you're basically going straight to your multi-units is it's a confirmation stage for when we're gonna take this to zirconia where we're confirming all our records are perfect yep. so that we know the fit and the passivity is gonna be amazing when we deliver this finally in uh, zirconia. Yep. Also lets the patient test out the aesthetics kind of get any wear patterns in the printed materials as well that we can capture and transfer over to the finals. Yeah, and, and Onyx Tough has been very accurate. I mean, this doesn't drop right in. Yep. Zero adjustments on this case, and it was beautiful. It was perfect. I mean, I, I was amazed. I'm used to picking these up on temporary cylinders, um, but we basically picked this right up on the multi-unit caps, uh, the peak caps that come with this system, yep. and the fit was perfect. Yeah, I remember the patient um, almost tearing up when, when he saw his teeth in this particular case because um, the, the lifelike, he wanted it to be lifelike, which is why we had some little asymmetries built in and yes. it was screwed in and for the first time this patient had teeth fixed in his mouth. Yeah. It was incredible. It was amazing. Yeah, I love this case. This fourth case is you know something I'm very passionate about, which is ultra conservative, very thin, lifelike veneers that are 3D printed. Yeah. I mean, it opens up a whole world of possibilities when you could print 20 veneers in 20 minutes. I mean, don't you miss the days of direct composite veneers though? Yeah, my back does not miss those days, man. <laughs> so in th this particular patient presented with a Bolton discrepancy, tooth size, arch size issues. We scanned them in and we did a very minimum prep and we designed the smile that they wanted. Um, they were right there with us as I was designing this case. We printed these out of my favorite veneer material, Onyx Tough. It's Hollywood bleach color and it polishes very, very high shine. Uh, we love this material. 20 veneers were done in this particular case in a single appointment. Amazing. On, on, I never would imagine this was even achievable. Wow, we have been super impressed with this printer. I mean, it is clear that they built this printer from the ground up for dentistry. Every little detail has been finely combed over to ensure ease of use and predictability. And that is something that we think is ultra critical when you are printing in your office. Overall, we rank this a 4.6 out of five. Up next, the Asiga Max.